Uh, maybe we'll switch gears then. We'll jump across to another company. Um, maybe I'll I'll talk about this one, which is uh, Catapult Group, which is a, a business that many retail investors would be familiar with if they just watch the, the AFL or the rugby or um, some European soccer. Um, originally, Catapult started as a GPS wearables business, so for sports athletes and performance athletes and, and their, and their um, staff could monitor fitness, monitor activity on, on the ground or on the court um, and get insights from that. They then expanded into video analytics, uh, which basically says, you know, this, here's the camera, let's look down the, the ground. Um, think of like Telstra Tracker if you watch the AFL, something like that. Uh, then they made it this move probably, which was a poor use of capital, they moved into um, the prosumer division, which is where basically they tried to take their advanced analytics from professional sports and apply that to semi-pro athletes or athletes that maybe are aspirational in nature. Uh, that didn't work and the business has since been, kind of been hit. Um, we've got a new CEO at the helm come from Audible, uh, which is basically focused on driving subscriptions. One acquisition that they made recently was a company called SBG Sports in London. And what this business does is it effectively takes its dominant position in F1 sports and using analytics to predict, for example, if you watch the, uh, the F1, when, um, say, McLaren might pass Ferrari. Is there a 52% chance that McLaren passes Ferrari in the next three laps or something like that? And so they've taken that technology and they're now trying to apply it to different sports. And under the CEO, uh, Will Lopez, they're trying to basically bring together video and their other analytics engines and put it all in the cloud um, and sell subscriptions into it. So I think I've got some numbers here just from the, the most recent period. And uh, where are they? Here we go. So from the most recent period, there's this uh, software as a service sales growth. Um, they measure it as annualized contract value, which they're are uh, some uh, criticisms of this metric, but ACV growth was up 43% year on year. Um, and that was driven by both divisions, performance and health, that wearables division up 40%, tactics and coaching up 57%. Subscription revenue is growing fast at 29%. I think the thing that investors will want to watch from here though, is basically their cost base. How do they, they're, they're heavily recruiting. If you go to the Catapult uh, website, you go forward slash careers, I think it is, you will see how heavily they're investing in bringing um, data together with predictive analytics. So in the past, it's more like we'll capture the game, we'll look at the GPS afterwards, and we'll then get some insights from that. And then it became, okay, we can do real-time analytics. And now the next step is how do we then be become more predictive with the analytics in real time to influence performance and coaching and tactics? Um, and that's where we'll see a lot of benefit. One of Some of the big red flags I might also call out too for Catapult is it's kind of got a, a bit of a check in history in terms of its focus on profitability. And its key competitor, Stat Sports, has been winning some of the biggest deals around the world. Um, you know, many deals in the US, for example, I think there was a billion dollar plus contract that Stat Sports won. Um, and that would, you know, we would, if, if Catapult had won that, it would we'd be too, probably an ASX 200, um, but it's not. So the, this business is really impressive. Um, it's got really impressive technology. I think it may have squandered its first leader advantage over the years, but um, I really, really like the business for its sticky um, revenue. I would say there are risks on the horizon being those costs. Um, it has recently changed. You talked about kind of like subsidies muddying the waters, mate. Uh, it actually changed its reporting season uh, calendar and its window. So we're currently dealing with a mixture of nine month results, half year results, yearly results, and we're trying to reconcile all that. Um, but I think it's for the right reasons that the change of the, the year and the change of the reporting currency actually aligns better with the target audience, which is in the, the, the US and um, over in Europe. So uh, that's Catapult Group, trades under the ASX ticket code CAT. There's a lot to watch. Um, I think it's an impressive company. The, the acquisition of SBG will bolster growth, um, but keep an eye on that free cash flow and make sure you calculate it yourself. Uh, that's, that's Catapult.